Hello and welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I'll be making paneer kathi roll. This roll is very famous in Kolkata, especially chicken roll, egg roll. And I already shared the recipe of chicken roll. For that link, click the i card on the top right corner of your screen. So today I'm gonna be using paneer as stuffing. Some of my viewers requested me to show the vegetarian version of making this roll. So here we go. First, I am going to make the dough. Here I have taken two types of flour. Refined flour that is maida and wheat flour that is atta. I have taken 50-50 portion. Now I am going to combine refined flour and wheat flour together. To this, I am going to add salt, sugar and oil. Put the oil enough to get bread crumbs like texture. Mix it. Then we are going to add milk to knead it well. Milk will make the paratha rich, soft and melt in mouth. Knead it until it becomes nice smooth and semi soft dough. Spray some more oil on the surface to prevent drying out the dough. Now it is resting time. Keep it aside for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I am going to make a simple tikka marinade for the paneer. In a bowl, add yogurt, ginger garlic paste, turmeric powder, red chili powder, tandoori masala powder and give a mix. Salt, mix again. Put the paneer cubes and give a gentle mix. Now keep this aside as well. Heat some oil in a pan. Saute some onions and green chilies too. When the onion becomes lightly golden brown, add some capsicum pieces. Give a quick saute. Next add paneer that is already marinated with some spices. Saute gently. Add some cumin powder, garam masala powder, sugar to balance out the taste. Now I am going to toss it. Because if you stir it continuously, the paneer will bake into pieces and become crumble. So to prevent that, the best way is tossing. Just a light mix again. When you see, the paneer is coated well with masala and oil oozes out. Remove from the flame. Before assembling roll, make sure everything is done and get around. Here I am going to beat an egg with little salt and keep this aside. I have sliced my cucumber, onion, carrots, chopped green chilies and you can see lime wedges is also ready. Now I am going to work on making paratha for the roll. Here is my dough already rested well. I am going to give it quick punch again. Now make oblong shape and cut in equal sizes. Now take a small dough, make it like a round ball, dust with flour. Now I am going to start rolling it as thin roti. If it sticks to the rolling pin, dust with some more flour and again roll it. So this is done. Now I am going to put this on hot tawa. Let the downside cook little bit. When you see some tiny bubbles start to rise on the surface, flip it over. Cook the other side until half done. Now I am going to remove from the pan. Now heat some oil. First I am going to show you egg paneer roll. Then I will show you simple paneer roll. Pour the egg mixture. Spread the liquid little bit. And let it set for a while. When it is almost cooked but still liquid on the top, place the paratha. Press gently so the paratha sticks to the egg. Flip it. Smear half teaspoon oil on the top and cook the other side for 1 to 2 minutes to ensure that the egg is cooked completely on the edges and the other side of the paratha is also coated nicely with oil. 
see now this is done so take out and place on a plate now i'm going to put the yummy paneer filling in the middle of the paratha arrange the filling lengthwise put some cucumber slices onion and carrot slices some chopped chilies if you love hot you can add more or skip it also add 1 tablespoon tomato sauce green chili sauce and squeeze some lime juice you can also sprinkle chaat masala here now wrap it horizontally from one side you can take help of a flat spoon so that the paneer filling come one side and you can wrap it well now wrap with the paper leave little extra paper down so we can fold the bottom of the paratha so my egg paneer roll is ready next i'm going to make simple paneer roll without egg similarly roll the paratha and place on hot tawa when you see some bubbles start rising flip it over let the other side cook a bit smear half teaspoon oil on the top spread evenly now again flip over put little oil on the top again and spread make sure both sides are cooked well now remove from the flame put paneer tikka filling in the middle of the paratha then some carrot cucumber and onion slices on the top squeeze lime juice tomato sauce green chili sauce some green chilies and chaat masala now roll it so my paneer roll is also done you can also use mushroom tofu or any other vegetables as stuffing so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this recipe please give this a big thumbs up share your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon till then take care and bye